Look, creating content is the best way to start marketing your business. But how do we make sure that we don't end up on an endless cycle of content creation that doesn't lead anywhere and doesn't help our business grow by attracting leads, sales, and revenue? Let's talk about it. Hey, my name is Ryan Kearns. Hit the subscribe button below this video if you want to stay ahead in your marketing, have the edge against your competition, and grow your business with more lead sales and revenue. While you're at it, hit that like button down below so YouTube knows that we make awesome videos and more people can get help with their marketing. And final announcement, we're giving away our $2,000 workshop for free. All you have to do is click the link in the description below this video and you'll be taken to our free marketing strategy workshop where we'll help you conquer the internet and get more lead sales and revenue by creating a unique strategy for your business that really turns everything up and allows you to collect leads on autopilot and really grow your business to the next level. It's free for a limited time. Soon we're going to charge 2000 bucks for it again, so click on that link now before it's too late. Woo! I feel good today. All right, so look, the solution to not feeling like you're on an endless treadmill, a cycle or a wheel, if you will, of creating content that doesn't lead anywhere, it doesn't attract leads, it doesn't attract sales. If, if you ever feel like that, there is a solution and that solution is to break your content up into different stages of the customer experience. Let me explain what I mean. Oftentimes you're here to this re referred to as tofu, mofu, and bofu, which sounds really silly and ridiculous, but that's what marketers call it, okay? Tofu stands for top of funnel, okay? It's not just a delicious meal that vegans everywhere eat every day. It's also, it also stands for top of funnel. Top of funnel content is broad content that's meant to attract people into your world, right? Think about blog posts, YouTube videos, podcasts, those types of free content that are being put out there every single day, right? If you think about somebody like Gary Vaynerchuk, he's putting out thousands of videos and free content just every single day. He has an entire distribution team of people that takes his content, formats it for all the different platforms, and spreads it out across the entire internet. So he's coming out with more than one post per day on each social media platform. I mean, for YouTube, he could come out with three, four, five videos in a single day. All of that top of funnel content gets him to be well known. It allows him to attract a large following on each social media platform. And then when it's time for him to move those people off of the social media platforms and into his world, right, via email, phone number, or, you know, sales, he, he's able to get a huge chunk of them. But the point is top of funnel content is the content that you see day in and day out for free on platforms like YouTube, Medium, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, right? It's all of the content that you just see floating around out there on the internet. Bonus tip. All right, here's a bonus tip about top of funnel content, okay? If you can find what everybody else is doing in the top of funnel content and do something a little bit different or a lot different than what everyone else is doing, you start to stand out, okay? I think about Tim Ferriss who created the four-hour work week. When he created the four-hour podcast that he does, his Tim Ferriss podcast, he was doing something different than everybody else and that different thing was long form, okay? Everybody else was creating, you know, 20 minute podcasts, half hour podcasts, and he would create two hour long podcasts, three hour long podcasts, and he was creating very long form content. It allowed him to stand out because he was so different than everybody else. On that same thought, someone like John Lee Dumas did something completely different than everybody else with his podcast when he decided to do 15 minute episodes and he did them every single day with the EO or Entrepreneurs on Fire podcast and he absolutely crushed it as well. He built his name really, really fast with that top of funnel content because he was doing something different that nobody else was willing to do or wanted to do or did so far. And it allowed him to stand out and create top of funnel content that grew his business exponentially. So the first stage of content to think about is your top of funnel content. And in terms of order, it may not be the first one you focus on. You may decide that focusing on the bottom first, then moving to the top makes sense because the top is going to be the last thing that you do. It's going to be the thing that you do that attracts people into your funnels in the first place. Next is MoFu or middle of funnel content. Okay. And MoFu content is focused on then building the relationship with them, right? 
perhaps they watch your YouTube videos all the time. Well, now you're going to offer them something for free, like an ebook or some white pages or some case studies or an advanced ebook or or uh, training videos or a workshop or some kind of some kind of valuable content for them to consume that's off of the platform where you can collect their email address and they become a lead right and that middle of funnel content is really the most difficult content to create because there's so many people from all different angles coming in for different reasons right and now it's your time to talk to them it's your time to warm them up into seeing that your business can offer them a solution to their problems right and you've got to start showing them that you're a valuable partner or a valuable companion in their story right if you think about um, if you think about stories, right, in the top of funnel, you're inviting the main character. The customer is the main character, not you. You're inviting them into their own story, and you're the guide in the story. So in the top of funnel content, you're saying, hey, I'm a guide in your story, and I can help you out. In the middle of funnel content, you start saying, look, I'm a guide in your story, but I can also be even more involved with your story. I can help you even more. I can be there to solve your problems, Right? So that middle of funnel content is really unique, hard to create, different, and you know, pe- and people struggle with trying to create effective middle of funnel content that warms their customers up and gets them ready, right? Now you'll see this in the forms of emails, training videos, case studies, advanced ebooks, right? These those types of things really warm people up and start to show them that you have the solution to their biggest problem. So after that, you've got BOFU or bottom of funnel, okay? So now they've been introduced to you. They see that you can be a valuable guide. Then they see that you can be an even more involved, valuable guide that can help you throughout the entire process. Now you're at the very bottom and you're saying, look, all you have to do is work with me. All you have to do is buy my product. All you have to do is come over here and click on this button or you know, give me your email address or buy my product, buy my service, right? So this is kind of where you can say the marketing ends and the sales process begins, right? If there's going to be some kind of phone call, this is where that would come into play. If there's going to be an evaluation, an assessment, some kind of discount codes, trials, strategy calls, right? Those types of things, that's what happens in BOFU. And for example, you could you could be marketing to them in top of funnel, then middle of funnel, build up the value, build up the value, show them that you're a great partner for them. And then the bottom of funnel would be, hey, book a free strategy assessment with me so we can look at your marketing strategy and see if it's effective. And we can help you make a better one right and then they book the strategy call and you talk to them about becoming a full-time partner so that's just one example but moving forward if you wanted to keep everything on e-commerce if you wanted to keep everything online at this point in the stage you could offer discount codes right to push them over the edge or trials to push them over the edge these are just the the last little icing on the cake that gets people to say oh yeah this is worth it and they take action okay so bottom of funnel content is not really content at all. It's where the real sales start to happen. It's where you show them the sales page. It's where you show them the order form. You show them the thing that's going to allow them to become a customer, right? So that's tofu, mofu, bofu. So let me just give you an example of what all of these things look like together, okay? So tofu would be, let's say, someone hears your podcast and you're doing an amazing podcast and it's going really well and you're talking about and let's say you're talking about dog training, right? So you have this awesome podcast about dog training and this person's training their dog while listening to your podcast and it's helping them a lot train their dog and it's helping them have a better lifestyle because their dog stops peeing on the rug. So then moving forward, you, you say, hey, if you want my top 25 tricks for teaching dogs quicker and easier, give me your email address. So they say, oh, that sounds awesome. They go to the website that you provide, they give you their email address. Now they're in the middle of funnel content. Once they give you their email address, they get that that worksheet. Then you start sending them videos, right? You start sending them things like, oh, you probably didn't know about this one trick that your dog can do. And you didn't know about this uh, one treat that will help your dog you know, learn twice as fast or whatever it is. I'm making this up. I don't even have a dog. But you start giving them really valuable content. You start showing them case studies. Hey, look what we did with this person's dog and look what we did with that other person's dog. Now the person's starting to think, okay, wow, this person's really valuable and they might be a really good person to help me train my dog one-on-one and they might be a good fit for me, right? So they start to like, they know you, they start to like you, they start to trust you, 
right? So in uh, tofu, they got to know you. In mofu, they got to like you and trust you. Now you're at the bottom of the funnel. That's when you say, hey, if you have any specific uh, questions about your dog, you know, we're free to uh, have a strategy call. So you can call our, our team, you can book a call with us, and we can talk to you about your specific dog's behaviors and what you can do to make it better, right? And that will get them on the phone, and then they can talk to them about buying their flagship product or, or working with them one-on-one -on -one or whatever their thing is. Right, so that would be the tofu mofu bofu example. Another really quick example would be tofu is an advertisement, right? Uh, hey, we're the best company in the world. This is an advertisement, right? Then mofu would be a webinar. Hey, this is a webinar. It's going to warm you up, tell you my, our story, give you some valuable content. So it's doing all of those examples all at once. And then the bottom of funnel is, oh, by the way, you know, if you want to buy our flagship product at the end of the webinar, a lot of times they pitch you that product, right? You click on it, go to the order form, and that's bottom of funnel. You fill out the order form and get the product. So that's just a really quick example of something more common that people know about webinars, right? Advertisement would be top of funnel, webinar would be middle of funnel, order form would be bottom of, funnel, bottom of funnel. It's that simple. But the point is when you start breaking up your content like this, it allows you to see the entire game and you don't end up on an endless treadmill of creating random content that you don't know why you're creating it, right? The why is built right in. You're saying, I'm building this to be the top of funnel to get attention, to get people to look at me, to get people to subscribe to my YouTube channel, to get people to you know come towards me and, and attract new leads into my business right or you're saying all right this one this specific content is to warm people up allow them to see my way of thinking allow them to see the case studies and the people that i've helped allow them to see what how i'm valuable to them and how i can solve their problems right and then bottom of funnel is this is to tell people about the product that i'm offering about the service that i'm offering you know the actual offer what they get with all of it what is the purpose how it's different than everything else and what we have to offer for the long term. So that really just changes the entire game of creating content and you no longer feel like you're creating it for no reason at all. I'll save this for another video, but it gets really fun when you start creating tofu, mofu, and bofu content and using remarketing ads or retargeting ads in order to serve the tofu, mofu, and bofu. Then it becomes really fun, but that's a that's a topic for another day. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to get your free marketing strategy workshop while it's still available. Just click the link in the description below and you'll get it for free. So thanks for watching. My name is Ryan Kearns and I'll see you soon. Bye.